Here's this girl again. See if she uses her hands to get up this time or she just goes to her knees. Straight to the knees. Keep the hands. There you go. What'd she do wrong? She stood up on the rail. So she didn't stay centered. And she kind of put, if that's her board, she kind of went side by side with her feet instead of staying in the center of the board with both feet. She got, she learned a lot between the last one and that one though. You can see like the one before she got up on her knees and then just tried to stand up with no help from her hands. You know, you need that almost like a tripod to keep yourself balanced. Do you remember the early days at Cocoa Beach and going out there and just <coughs> being on the water or staring at the water? Yeah. Yeah. What were those days like? Um, they were fun for me, you know. I, back then we didn't have like, you know, we didn't have the computer, we didn't have webcams, surf cams, we didn't have forecasting. You know, I just would wake up in the morning and if we didn't have surf, I'd probably go fishing and that's about it. What's the craziest thing or the farthest spot you've traveled to spur of the moment? Because spur of the you know moment? Some place there's gonna be good waves. That's the report. Uh oh I don't know. I flew to Hawaii once just for the day. From, Cal the day. from California. I flew there because I thought it was gonna be really good. And I got there, it wasn't good, so I flew back that night and came back here in Surf Rincon the next day. So I flew. Round trip to Hawaii in a day, looking at Yeah, in less than waves. 24 hours, yeah.